Okay, all right, take time, make time. We'd like you to spend a little time with us. Hello, everybody. My name is Tommy Patillo, and welcome to the Jersey Spotlight. We got a great show lined up for you. Uh, my co host is a young gentleman by the name of Joe Marioni. He sings with Younger Days and also writes his own uh, newsletter. We'll get into that a little later on. And also we have a fantastic group, a very, very smooth, good-looking group. They're called Things to Come, so stick around and don't go nowhere because we got a real treat for you. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're back. We're back with my uh, co-host, Mr. Joe Marioni, who of course sings with the group Younger Days. Joey, how are you? How are you doing, Tommy? Nice Good to, to be here again. I, uh, we had your group on the show a couple weeks back, and uh, we got so many calls that we had to uh, bring you guys back. And and it, was our, it was our pleasure. We really enjoyed being here. Thanks. Thanks very much. Uh, you know what? Tell us a little bit about the uh, newsletter that uh, you write. Well, uh, this is something I started doing about a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. of course, out of my interest for the music, and um, it's, been, it's been going pretty well for me. I've had the support of a lot of the artists in the business, and of course, all the fans, producers, promoters, and mm -hmm. uh, it's been going very well for me. I'm sure it's going to do real well. It's, it's packed with a lot of information. Let's get a shot of, of this, if we can, over here. Uh, this, is what, this comes out how often? Once a month? Every other month. Every it's other month? monthly and uh, the 11th issue will be out in a couple of days. Okay. So. All right. Um, you did an interview with Richard Nader in here. This, by the way, this is what issue is this? This is the 10th. 10th issue, uh, April. And you did a, uh, an interview with Stan Ziska and the Dell Satins. That's the, yeah, because Stan, just, Stan just put the group back together with uh -huh. a couple of new members. And uh, that's something I like to do as much as I can, which is to give a, a plug to a group just getting back on the circuit. Because uh -huh. they, a lot of them need all the help they can get as far as you know finding work and letting people know that they're back. Right, Stan right. hadn't uh, done a full-time Dell Satins gig in 25, 30 years maybe. Yeah. Well, that's a great newsletter. I mean, you Thank really you. go in depth with your interviews and uh, very interesting stuff. Richard Nader, you happen to be a very good friend of uh, Richard's, I yeah. understand. Yeah. And uh, you did this interview with him. Mm -hmm. How'd that go? Well, we, you know, we got a little bit of background on where Richard came from and uh, mm -hmm. a little perspective on where he's going right. and what he's done and what an impact he's had on the music, which is a tremendous one, of course. A great impact, yep. Uh, short takes, what's that about? Yeah, well, we have about two pages of uh, little blibs and blurbs, who's left what group or who's f starting a new group or uh, uh, mm -hmm. a show, maybe a review of a show may uh, fall into that category or sorts okay. of things like that. Okay, and uh, here you did a, an interview with the teenagers. Yeah, we had a little uh, story on them. This, is, uh, this one in particular was written for me by a, uh, a journalist, and um, she got... Uh, Nice quote from Bobby J in there about how it so felt. He was on the show. That's right. How, you know, he, he wanted to uh, express how he felt, you know, to come into a group which he had idolized from uh, 35 years ago. That's right. He talked about that. He, mm -hmm. he, those were, that was one of his favorite groups. And to be singing with them is a real treat. Yeah. Uh, Stan Ziska and the Del Satins. Yeah, we turned up a lot of pictures that had uh, never been seen before and that had been, had been lost for years and that, uh, you know, Stan didn't even remember being in. So that's, that's something else that we like to try to get in there. There are a, a lot, lot of pictures, pictures in here, too. Yeah. A lot of great pictures. Let's if see. we don't document this history now, uh, when these groups are, uh, are gone or retired 10 or 15 years from now, there'll be no one to document mm -hmm. them. So it's really, you know, well, really have to do I it now. I think you're doing a wonderful thing. Thank you. And uh, for, for doo-wop fans, R&B fans, uh, it's a great, great form. Uh, let's get a shot of this as well, if we can. That's the Del Satins uh, about 1965, Zane. and then their reunion about 1980. Okay. All right, well, we're going to talk a little more about this a little later on. Okay. Uh, you know our guest vocal group, right? Uh, I love right? these guys. I remember they when they, uh, they did UGHA about a year ago, and they've uh -huh. been going strong. Well, I hear things to come are things to come, something to come. That's for sure. You're on the radio. Your guys are all over the place. Uh, <clears throat> You're going to sing a couple songs first, one right now. What, what, uh, what song is that going to be? Um, that's going to be a song entitled Somewhere. Somewhere. Let's hear it for things to come. <laughs> Woo! Somewhere my love waits for me. 
Somewhere beyond the sky and sea Somewhere I'll see her Then my heart will know This is the face that I love so I hear her voice everywhere Even in dreams she is there I'll search forever till the day I die But somewhere, someday I'll find my love somewhere Then my heart will know This is the face that I love so I hear her voice everywhere Even in dreams she's there I'll search forever Till the day I die But somewhere Oh man, you guys are so smooth. So smooth. Thanks, Tom. Something else, something else. We, uh, we're going to get into a little interview. You're going to sing a couple more songs for us a little later on. Okay, but right now we're going to take a station break. We'll come back in a little while with Joe Marioni and more of Things to Come. Woo! Hi, I'm Lou Christie, and you're watching the Jersey Spotlight. Bye. 
My co-host Joe Marioni, but right now we're going to go on location to the Westchester County Center with Mary Beth McDade, and she's going to be talking to Lenny Coco of the Chimes. So come back. Hi, I'm Mary Beth McDade with the Jersey Spotlight, and once again here on location, and tonight we're at the Westchester County Center, and with us this evening we have Lenny Coco and the Chimes. Hi. Hi and your name is? My name is Rocky Morsicano. Rocky. My name is Joe Cicero. Oh, welcome, Hello, guys. Hello, Lenny Coco. Ben, <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, guys. Um, I understand that you guys took an old Tommy Dorsey song from the 1937s called Once in a While and made it very successful. You want to tell us about that? Well, we were into, uh, uh, into old songs, uh, particularly uh, my father was a accordion player for like 50 years, and I liked old standards. And uh, we were told that, you know, we should do an old standard. So we did this, and we went to a demo studio, Broadway recording studio. We made a demo of it, and the uh, engineer thought we had a pretty good sound. He called someone down from Tag Records, and the guy came down about an hour later, liked us, signed us up. Two weeks later, we recorded, and six months from that time, we had a song in the top ten from New York to California. Wow, just like that, huh? Just That's like fast. That. Woo! Wow. Now, I understand that you guys... People thought that you guys were a black group at first. Now, how'd that happen? Well, no one ever saw us. No one ever saw you. Our choreographer was Charlie Atkins mm -hmm. from Colin Atkins. Our uh, uh, arranger was uh, Rudy Trailer, who worked with Frankie Lyman and Tyree Glenn. So we had uh, like the black type of uh, sound. And that's how we recorded. Uh, we were booked at four predominantly black theaters right off the bat. The Regal Theater Chicago, the Howard Theater, the Royal Theater, and the Apollo in New York. And no one knew that we were white until we, we appealed <laughs> on the stage. Was that a real shock? Or oh, yeah, we fooled yeah, them all. We fooled, we fooled them. them all. But we got very good response. We really oh, did. We really did. It was, it was great. It was a lot of fun. You guys deserve it. Um, now, I also understand that in 1964, the Chimes wound up on a label in transition called VJ. Correct. Now, you want to tell us about that? Yes, we went to VJ and we recorded uh, uh, an old song recorded by the Three Chuckles, Teddy Randazzo, called Times Two, I Love You. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were ready for a release, but uh, the Brit British Invasion came, and as you know, uh, P.S. I Love You was on VJ Records. 
so we got shelved because of the British invasion. Yeah, we were talking about And that's about the way it goes. <laughs> that's what kills us. Oh, wow. Well, in 1986 was your last release, right? Correct. And what was that called? New York City Lady. New York City Lady. Okay, well, what can we expect in the 1990s from Lenny Coco and Chimes? Well, you can, you can expect us three guys to keep doing shows and trying to entertain people, well, giving them what they want to hear. We also, we also will probably so. will do an album also. But yeah. in the next, next six months, mm -hmm. we'll be involved with a new album. We'll be putting together an album of songs you don't hear on every album that a group sings. It's going to be different songs, group harmony, and keep it in our style, yeah. in the Chime style. Oh, good. So there is more of you to come. Oh, yeah, we don't oh, stop. Good, Just good, like good. all the other groups, the Tokens, the Earls, the Duprees, and so forth and so on, all those channels. You don't stop. You know why? Because we all love the music. This is good music, and we love it. It's in Clean our blood. music. Good, fun music. This is our type of, of uh, how would you say, alcohol or drug. This is your release? But this won't get us in trouble. Okay. And it is good music. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for thank joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, and stay tuned out there for more of the Jersey Spotlight. Okay, we're back, and I uh, want to say thanks, Mary Beth. That was great. Uh, we have a lot uh, coming up with Mary Beth uh, in the future. As a matter of fact, uh, we're going to be talking to her uh, in the next uh, program. Uh, Joe, real quick, where can uh, someone sub subscribe to Doo-Wop Incorporated? Uh, ETC. E ETC. I'll get it right one of these days. I think they have the address. They can flash it up on the screen. And the, the address uh, is 40 North 11th Street, New Hyde Park, New York. And the zip code is 11040. Okay, great. Um, again, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. And uh, we'll, we got to get your group back on, Younger Days. We're going to be uh, doing a show at Malloy College in October and also at Queens College in November. Okay. So everybody to... Check Great. the newsletter for that and check your newsletter. And, and our calendar, too, our spotlight calendar, we'll have the dates uh, for you there Great. as well. I appreciate that. Okay. Pleasure being here. We're going to throw it back to the things to come right now, and uh, they're going to take the show out for us. What song are you guys going to do? Farewell, Farewell, my love. Farewell, Farewell my right. love. Things to come. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Get a little bass in the place. I've got to set you free. I've got to set you free, baby. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. My love. My love. I'm gonna cry. Gonna cry. My love. The vows of love you broke. You have broken the laws of love. Wardrobe for the Jersey Spotlight is provided by Charles.